while there is an old saying that claims defense wins championships, today's NFL requires offenses to put the ball into the end zone and light up the scoreboard. The league has evolved in a way that favors the offensive side of the ball so scoring is a must. The Dallas Cowboys have taken steps this offseason that are an effort to help Dak Prescott and company do just that including bringing Jason Witten back into the fold, re-signing the likes of Alan Hearns and Tavon Austin, and inking a deal with veteran wideout Randall Cobb. However, it appears that the Cowboys are still searching for talent to add to its offense. It is always fun to track who Dallas brings in for 30 visits during the draft process, and the wide receiver position has been popular. South Carolina's Debo Samuel and Missouri's Emmanuel Hall have already been confirmed as Cowboys pre-draft visitors, and you can now add another wide receiver, Georgia WR May Cole Hardman. Interesting to see the number of receivers getting a look from the Cowboys Bobby Belt at Bobby Belt TX March 29, 2019 The Cowboys have brought in a trio of SEC wide receivers, Debo Samuel, Emmanuel Hall, and Michael Hardman. Samuel is a slot receiver that can make an impact in a variety of different ways, Hall is a bigger target that tested off the charts at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis, and Hardman possesses track speed that can take the top off defenses. Dak Prescott would surely be more than thrilled about adding any of these talents to his arsenal of weapons. Hardman was an elite, blue-chip prospect coming out of Albert County High School in the 2016 recruiting class, ranked as the 12th overall prospect in America by the 247 Sports Composite. Naturally, because of his scary speed and slight frame, Hardman was also looked at by some schools to play defensive back. Georgia opted to keep Hardman on the offensive side of the ball, wanting to get their speedy playmaker the ball. That turned out to be a smart move, as the Georgia native terrorized defensive coordinators throughout his career in Athens. Hardman burst onto the scene for the Bulldogs as a sophomore for Kirby Smart squad in 2017. The 5'10 and 187-pound playmaker totaled just under 500 total yards from scrimmage, scoring four touchdowns as a receiver and running in two more on the ground for a team that came just seconds away from winning a national title. One of the biggest plays of his career came in that game against Alabama, burning by the Crimson Tide defense down the sideline en route to one of his two touchdowns in game. Furthermore, Hardman performed very well in athletic testing, posting a 4.3340 95th percentile and testing above average in the 20YD split, 10YD split, and the bench press. Hardman may be small in stature, but he makes up for it in other ways. Nicole Hardman posted an elite. Aside from size, he didn't post a single athletic test under average for his position. Twitter.com slash has G51JLK, Kent Lee Platt at Math Bomb, March 30, 2019 Hardman speed aids him in his route running, enabling him to create separation from the defensive back and find the open spot in coverage. Here is a good example versus Missouri in 2017, Michael Hardman motions across formation as coverage indicator, C1, stems inside to hold DB, clear space towards sideline pushes vertical, DB commits hips to stay on upfield shoulder horizontal break creates separation Michael got the DB's hips flipping. Like a roller coaster pick.twitter.com slash r14 us here, Brad Kelly, at Brad Kelly 17, March 28, 2019 Creating separation is crucial for a wide receiver in the NFL, as it allows the quarterback to get the ball in a window for the target to make a play. Here, Hardman, again versus Missouri, not only utilizes his dangerous speed, but also his head fake and cuts in his route running, make Ole Hardman corner post, copper, root, move the DB by threatening space towards the sideline sell the corner. Root with eyes accelerate through vertical cut key, stay light on your feet throughout double move. The former five-star prospect showed what he can do in the return game during his collegiate career, averaging over 15 yards per punt return for the Bulldogs. Winning the battle of field possession is a crucial element in determining the outcome of games. Hardman's 15.2 punt return average on 39 returns put Jake Frum and company in good position to put the football in the end zone. 
Unless Hardman decided to just do this, Nicole Hardman will likely hear his name called on day two of the NFL draft. With needs at defensive line, safety, offensive line, and other areas, there is a some debate on whether or not the Cowboys should spend one of their two day two selections on a wide receiver, however, there is obviously some interest there if the Cowboys decided to bring him in for a visit. Adding as much talent as possible seems to be a smart strategy. The Cowboys did add Cobb and free agency, but the former Green Bay Packers target has battled injuries throughout his career and Dallas only inked him to a one-year deal. Drafting a player of Hardman's talent with his game-breaking speed and fluidity would only help Dak Prescott, Kellen Moore, and Jason Garrett.